our uh, weekend homework topic. We're going to get in some of the feedback here. What is something or someone that you used to not have the uh, the nicest feelings for? Right. Mm. I don't want to even use the word hate. Maybe it wasn't even hate. You just disliked mm-hmm. or maybe it was hate. I don't know. But now you've come around. Now you love it or love them. All right. right. Yeah. Or at least like. Doesn't yeah. seem, <laughs> you know, I don't want to go too extreme, but like something like you would have passed on before. Now it's like, oh, OK. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All about it. Yeah. When like, people say hate is such a strong word, I think, what's wrong with using strong words? Right. You know? Yeah. It's your word. And sometimes it really does apply. Exactly. It's how you feel. Yeah. Right. I like, I like uh, you know, I like the people who can just own what they feel. They say what you mean, mean what you say. Yeah. If you hate something, you hate something. Yeah. Don't sit here and try to pretend like you're a better person, like you don't ever hate someone That's or something. That's a strong word. Yeah, just own it. Yeah. Just own it. Uh, I would say like uh, Brussels sprouts for sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yes. It, it took so much effort to get me to even mm-hmm. go back to try them again because that was one of those things that I just seem to remember that we had a lot of those growing up and they've changed. Yeah, they were just like uh, I remember they would come in those frozen bricks oh. from the freezer section of the grocery uh-huh. store and they just oh. go into the pot with the boiling water. That's disgusting. And not yeah. like it is now. Yeah. You know where they're all roasted. Fresh. They're so all good. fancy. Yeah, roasted, and mm. they got the balsamic uh, mm-hmm. like drizzle on yeah. top. Or I had whatever. them last night. Yeah, I was like, I can't believe this. <laughs> what something green? <laughs> this is a miracle. Weird. Number one, it's yeah, veggie, yeah, yeah right. vegetable. Yeah, it was good. Um, but yeah, maybe with like a little parmesan or uh, some bacon or sure, any of that kind of stuff on there. Well, you dress it up like that, anything's gonna be good. No, but they're not. What I always hated about them was that they were bitter. But as we've yeah. learned here more recently, is they're genetically modified now. They were uh, able to get rid of whatever that was in the makeup of Brussels sprouts that made them bitter, like as bitter. Uh-huh. And they were able to remove that for the most part. So that's why they're not like as soon as you bite into one, like, ugh. Right. You know. And they're still trying to do that with kale, but nobody's buying yeah, it. Yeah, right. Sucks. Hell no, dog. Why, Greg? Because kale is what? It's just garnish. Yes. It's, it's to make garnish. salad bars look nice. That's yes. still a thing. People still pay attention <laughs> oh, to that. Oh, yeah. It's still a thing. Yeah, yeah kale's okay. still kale? a thing. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Who knew? Disgusting. Yeah. The other one I was going to say is uh, Bill Maher. Mm. Oh, that's he's a good example. A yeah. Oh, yeah. He's still a thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you currently <laughs> like him? Yeah. Yeah. I never, you know, because he always just came across so. So arrogant. So arrogant. So oh, yeah, that's changed. Smug. No, but the difference is now no, the it, was, it was always very one sided. And now he seems to be. Oh, more... now he's super open minded. If you if you watch clips you going don't, around, you, you can't even tell me you've watched it. You can't. So you you really have no frame of reference. Where does he on air? Is on HBO. HBO. Oh, yeah. he's on HBO. It's, it's on HBO. I thought and... he was like the hardest of the hardcore liberals. Now he's well, more open minded. Well, so you would you would think you would think that, and he's made a really good point because people are like, oh, he's changed. I don't think he's changed. I think that uh, everything around has changed. So like where he used to be considered like a hardcore liberal now seems more center. Because okay. everything's gone so crazy to the extreme on both sides mm-hmm. that anybody who used to be seen as like uh, radical is now right. You know, they're they're kind of all together in the middle. But I do like the fact that even though, yes, he is a Democrat, he is a liberal, he's able to criticize his quote own party. Like, I like anybody who's able to do that. Totally. You know, and not just toe a line. So he's definitely been pissing some people off with that. And, um, you know, and, and I find myself agreeing more with what, with, uh, you know, his take on, on certain things. Like, you know, the, some, some of these just uh, issues that people just don't want to touch. I agree. I think he's done a really good hmm. job of, of intelligently laying it out. And so, yes, he's still smug. Yes, he's still, of course. Uh, you know, arrogant. But, I, but I, yeah, I also think that's just part of his shtick. Yeah. You know. And you're right. I, 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 he's a perfect example for this list. Yeah. Because he used to be so annoying. <laughs> yeah, so I've, I've come around on that. Uh, eight seven seven forty four. Woody Ravi, what is it for you? Well, it's something we talk about all the time, is I used to hate, and yes, I will use the word hate, when you had no plans for the weekend. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> now it stay is busy. my favorite thing. Yeah. You don't have any plans this weekend? Rip. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but I used to hate it. I used to feel like such a loser. <laughs> really? You know, if you didn't have a plan on Saturday, now yeah. it's like, my God, I don't have a plan on Saturday. Yeah. Boing! <laughs> yeah. Open weekend? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's definitely something. I used something... to hate that. Like, yeah. you know, in your 20s, you're like, oh, my God. I yeah. got I to gotta get something on the calendar. I right, know. Right. 
Yeah, that is uh, that's definitely something that uh, that comes with age. You go out to a bar just to go, just to be out. Yeah, yeah. I know a Friday night with no plans. I, yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. Felt like an idiot. Yep. You wasted a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> now it's like, oh, right. Nice. Rosanna hit us up. She says, I agree with you on the Brussels sprouts. I will add oysters to the list. Oh, never. I've no, I will never them. come around to that. They're so yeah. good. See, I try them as a younger man. See, yeah. you, I get this uh, I get this knock like I don't, I've never tried things. No, I have tried things. I've decided I don't like them, and I'm, I don't feel the need to try again to like them. Well, at least yeah. if you try yeah. it once, you can speak <laughs> but, to it. You know what I mean? Right. Like, uh-huh. I've had lamb before. I just, it, it wasn't for me. You and loved it. it. Up. You liar. Yeah, you, you were obsessed with it. hell out of it. It conjures yeah. up, uh, mm-hmm. you know, hairy, liar. hairy meat. But I didn't know what it was, but now that I know what it was. But now that he knows what it is, now it has. no longer yeah. tasted good. It did. Yeah, the it taste changed. changed. It did. I th- well, <laughs> is that kind of what happens to people who become vegetarians or whatever? Like, they see the... You know the slaughterhouse process, or they yeah. see something like that, and like even though it has nothing to do with how it tastes or whatever, it just all of a sudden it turns them off. Talk to it, a vegetarian, and I don't it know. does. I'm asking that because <laughs> yeah. talking you know, to the wrong people here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what was that, Bort? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like you, you may have loved the taste, but then once you've seen like uh, you know one of these like chicken farms or whatever, it's right. like. Uh, it just yeah. didn't. It just never hit the same. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's why I out pract- of sight, out of mind. Yeah. I practice willful ignorance. <laughs> but yeah. oysters, I don't want to know. My God, I remember. I, so good. I, yeah. I went to a uh, uh, what do they call those? Like like a clam festival clam or bake or yeah. whatever. clam bake. Yeah. And mm. uh, man, my uncle and I were eating clams nonstop. Mm. And like there was all this like those boils. You know where they. Pour everything onto the yeah. table, read oh, yeah. everything on top of newspapers. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Now I like fried clams. Yeah. Right. I'll, I'll eat those, but the oysters did the same kind of thing with oysters, where there's like this, you know, big spread of and yeah. eating them, and they couldn't believe, like, oh my god, this kid's going hammer on on mm-hmm. oysters, and then it's just, I, I didn't, I didn't like after a while, I'm like, man, somebody somebody said booger, <laughs> and then uh. that was it. And no. then that was it. I'm it's like, got the consistency of a booger. Then I, then yeah. I couldn't get past the 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 texture. The it's an ocean flavored yeah. booger. <laughs> <It> was sand. <laughs> With the side of sand. It tastes like the sea. Uh, Kia says, "I used to hate spicy food, I but now that, I love yeah. challenging my bowels." <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, I know a lot of people who came around to uh, to spicy stuff. Like they totally. needed yeah. stuff. I mean, right. no spice. They were afraid mm-hmm. of it. Yeah, and that definitely seems to be something. And uh, somebody had said, and I don't know if this is true or not, but I guess as you age, your you know your taste buds aren't as sharp for sure uh-huh. as they used to be, and so you come to appreciate or yeah, tolerate oh, yeah. absolutely uh, spice a little bit more. Yeah. But when you're a kid, black pepper's too strong, you know. Right. And then yeah. the older you get, you're just pouring on lava. Love yeah. it. Uh, let's go to Julia. Hey, good morning, Julia. Julia. Hi, guys. Hi, right, good Hi. morning. All right, so what's something or someone you used to hate, but now you kind of at least like or love them? Well, it's hard to say to you, you know, face-to-face or phone-to-face, but um, <laughs> I used to hate you guys. <laughs> oh, damn. Right. Right. Now we've had that before. You're yeah. not the only person yeah. to tell We hear that on the daily. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, when my husband and I were dating, actually, he used to listen to you on speakerphone, and I guess I'm a quiet morning person, so I was always very charred by the loudness and the, the laughing and too much and... You know, the guess is gas is too much for me. Ravy, I love you, girl, but you were too much for me. And um, over time, um, I listen to you guys every day. And now I think he kind of feels like I stole one of his things. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he, used to, he used to, like, bring nuggets from your show. I feel like to our conversation. And now I have to say, um, yeah, I heard that, too. We heard it on The Witty Show. Oh, you um, so, got you know, worn I down. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's usually yeah, our, our strategy. I listen, I listen yeah. all the time. <laughs> yeah, we just figure, like, we'll wear people down eventually. Right. But it's usually yeah. the reverse. It's the females that get the guys into it. Yeah. yeah. But actually, that is true. Greg Gorey, what is something or someone you used to hate but now you love? In the food category, something that I hated, but now I would say I like, don't love, is blue cheese dressing. Ah, okay. I kind of like it on a certain side. But you wouldn't eat like a piece of blue cheese. No. I love a blue cheese burger, but I'm the same. I used to not like it. I like it now. So gross. Now I can kind of appreciate it. Um, in the other world of the no- the non food world, I gave this way too much thought. I thought about it <laughs> like for days. What did I absolutely hate? And now I absolutely love yard work. To me, <laughs> working in the yard was a punishment. It was a chore. Yeah, it was agony. Now it's like meditation, mm-hmm. alone time, exercise. It's I I love it. There's nights I go to bed, can't wait to get up in the morning just to 
Like trim a bush. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think probably because it's yours now. And it's mine right. now. Yeah. That's very true. But, but I like as the a result. kid, it was on the oh, chore chart. It was it the was worst. Yeah. Literal punishment. My mom would wake me up early in the morning like, we need you to go dig a ditch in the back. Yeah. It's the worst. The blue cheese thing, man. Like I know so many people that mm, love it. I love it. And I've you know tried it a number of times. It's just so like stale, rotten. It's like, very. Uh, and- and I think to myself, because I love cilantro, and there's a ton of people yeah. who hate cilantro. I right. can't. Like, oh, it tastes like soap or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And I can yeah. only imagine, like, maybe there's something wrong. Maybe there's a blue cheese. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah there's like, nothing wrong. Yeah, because, like, why is it's it that so many people taste. can love this? And I'm not opposed to, you know, whatever cheeses are. Yeah. Maybe it's in your DNA. Like yeah, that's what I mean. Like maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah, like the cilantro thing. Like, maybe, what? how am I not getting maybe. the but obsession? It, but what I once People have. dipped a chicken wing into what I thought was ranch and it was blue cheese. Oh. Almost spit it out. I know. I did that. <laughs> like, I, I like it on a salad and that's yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Fred. Hey, good morning, Fred. What's up, Fred? Hey, good morning, Woody Show. Good morning. Hello. All right, so uh, you know? what is you know? something that uh, you love now, but it always wasn't that way? You used to not like them or it. Uh, so at work, so I'm an EMT uh, for 911 services, and there was a dispatcher at work that we used to clash so much about a year ago. I should have started. And then recently we've just been talking and kind of going out and um, all about courting her right now and trying to win her over. Oh, courting. Oh. 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 You hear that? A courting. Oh. I'm trying to woo the yeah. dispatcher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can put okay. your jacket That's over cool. a puddle for her. Yeah. But initially you didn't like her. Yeah. I did not like her. We used to clash all the time, and we recently been talking about how there were times I almost made her cry at work. And Jeez. Just, wow. That's just mean, for Fred. And, <laughs> yeah, I know. And I felt so bad, and then we've been talking, and now I'm, I'm like, head over heels over her. Yeah. Well, oh see that, you just tell her, make up something, say, like, uh, oh, that's just, you know, how I flirt. It's my flirting yeah. style. Yeah. <laughs> It's right. called nagging. Co- right. into combative. It. <laughs> Just being straight up combative. It's because yeah. I, I knew I loved you already. <laughs> I didn't yeah. hate you. Yeah, right. Yeah, make at least feel better about it. All right, Fred, thank you for the call, man. Appreciate you listening to the Woody bye. Show. Bye. Hey, bye. All right, bye. bye. Uh, 877 Woody. Text over to 22987. Jason says, for me, it would be pickles, grapefruits, and hot peppers. The hot mm-hmm. peppers specifically with burgers. Mm. Oh, yeah. I hate grapefruit. Uh, Jackie says really? sushi. Oh, oh yeah. I bet a lot of people would say that. Yeah, mm-hmm. that that's a mm-hmm. that's a common one. I yeah. think people are just more yeah. afraid of what it is. Absolutely. Yeah. Or like skeeved out. Absolutely. Definitely. It's so good. It's yeah. Life-changing. And then you, you got to find the stuff that's right for you. Uh-huh. You know, the stuff that you can. That, uh, like that you got to ease with. your way in. Well, you know? yes. That's was was gonna be on my list was sushi. Like I absolutely love sushi now, but yeah. back in the day, no way. And then also, what um, was it about sushi that you were? It definitely was the raw fish thing. I'm like, this right. is not cooked. Like, <laughs> what? What's happening here? <laughs> but then I was like all in on it. And then also I'm a late in life beer lover. Mm. Oh, just, yeah. Yeah. Did, I, never, I was always like just hard alcohol. Like give me the yeah. adioses and the Long Islands. But now you'll drink beer and like now, it. Yeah. Now I like beer. See, I'm and the opposite. Spi- uh, spicy. Really? Yeah, yeah, spicy stuff. I would sneak my dad's beer when yeah. I was a oh, I, toddler. Yeah. I hated beer. <laughs> I just drink way more beer, and then uh, it got to the point where it was just like I wanted the barf. Like mm. it was just like uh, you know, it's it's fine mm-hmm. like a couple of beers, but if you're drinking for the night, like man, it's so like bloated That's and so full filling. and everything uh-huh. else. I'm like, I need where I need less quantity, but you can still get to where you need to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, then you know, I started messing with the uh, vodka. Got into vodka for a while. Then that started instant headaches, and that's how I settled yeah. on uh, tequila eventually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think what but it is is the opposite. I embraced marijuana, and now I still want something to drink because, again, yeah, you have to drink so many beers to get buzzed, and you feel just so full. But now, you know, a little bit of marijuana, a little bit of beer, it's a good night. There you go. Yep. I think beer gets me the most buzz. Uh, let's go to Brian. Hey, good morning, Brian. Hey guys. Hey Brian. Brian. All right. What's something or someone that you used to not like, but now you like it? Or them? <laughs> well, uh, it's not someone, but the something was my wife would nonstop hit me up with Facebook Marketplace ads. Uh, <laughs> you know, she would message me. She'd message me like seven of them. And if I don't look at them, then I'm in trouble because you're not paying attention to me. Uh, I really want this stuff. And then finally I just caved in and just the stuff that I thought was cool and that we could agree on. 
I'd go and get it. And, uh, yeah, I used to hate having to deal with all that stuff, but knowing that she uh, confides in me and uh, I make her happy by getting some of this stuff is good enough for me, and I've come to love it. Because like, What kind of stuff are we talking about? Like, confides what she, in you? What does she want? On yeah. That? So she's really into uh, into plants and flowers. It looks like like a, a planetarium. Uh, I don't even know in our house. There's like so much stuff. So it, like literally, it's become just plants, and I become a lot more well versed on plants. Like a wisteria. Don't even know what that was before. <laughs> now we have one. Uh, so realistically, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's, uh, our house looks so insane, but but. But I love it. I mean, you know, yeah. uh, without that stuff, you know, that that a, a home wouldn't be a home. So <laughs> kudos to her. Oh, wow. All right, Brian. Thanks, Thanks Brian. for the call. Appreciate yeah. you listening to the Woody Thanks. Show. Bye. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Love you. Right. Bye. Bye. That reminds <laughs> me of Ravy's <laughs> brother's sick bird watching. I know, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So into hummingbirds. <laughs> they are badass, man. You know how they migrate? Because oh, yeah. I follow their pattern. All about it. Uh, <laughs> Josh, who's the drummer for 21 Pilots, uh-huh. he and his mm-hmm. wife have this thing going in their house, like a theme about it's things that look like other things. So a blanket that looks like a burrito or, mm-hmm. you know, like uh, it's so like uh, the coffee oh. table that looks like it's, you know, uh, mm-hmm. a boulder. Oh, I see. Or, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. So they're, they're, and they did this big tour of their house and they have. Oh, I did watch so that. So much stuff. It's it, it, it doesn't look super goofy. It, Mm-hmm. No, I'm saying like it, a it's, lot of their house was so ugly. It's not, it's not my style, but like no. I thought, like you know, it definitely seemed to fit them, right? You know, okay. Like it, it, like I wouldn't want it for my house, but like for what they're doing and everything, I'm like, oh, I didn't, I, that's pretty creative, right? Wouldn't uh, wouldn't have thought about that. I thought their house was so ugly. Oh, jeez, uh, Greg. Let's <laughs> see. Tell me how you feel. I now love rare burgers. As a kid, my mom. Oh yeah. Always uh, turn them into well done hockey pucks. Oh, that's <laughs> charcoal from the uh, four one yeah. two. Yeah, with the steaks and stuff. As I got older, rare. Yeah. yeah, more rare. Nine oh nine says conspiracy theories. Oh heck yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, menace loves all that crap. <laughs> Hated them when I was young. Such a waste of time. Now I love them and spend countless hours going down rabbit holes. Yeah, they're, that they're doesn't super, sound like a waste of time. They're super entertaining. Eight seven seven forty four Woody Cody says uh, watching soccer. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, I, yep. I can yeah. say that one for sure. Yeah, well, because she watched that one show. That's right. Well, it's uh, Wrexham. Wrexham. And now then, I'm watching yeah. Premier League games. Yeah. Now it's she's fun. on a Saturday morning. It's it's I mean, she's not wearing like soccer jerseys yeah. into work. I now. couldn't uh-huh. get a Wrexham jersey. I still yeah, have... they're crazy sold and out. And like now they're changing their sponsor. So with uh-huh. a news, I'll get a new oh, sponsor. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's called a kit when you buy the jersey. Going to get a sock. Going to a live game is super fun. Uh, Sammy. Something that I used to hate is the movie Citizen Kane. Oh. And now <laughs> I love oh. It. oh my yeah, oh yeah. god. <laughs> Citizen so Kane is a brilliant movie. You would have loved film school then because well, when people raise their it. hand, like, what's your favorite movie? It was like 99.9% <laughs> in the room. But had they so, ever even seen it? That's, I don't know. That's the thing is that in college, I majored in radio, TV, film, so I had to mm-hmm. watch it my freshman year, hated it. I thought it was the dumbest movie. I was like, okay, Rosebud, whatever. Like, we get mm-hmm. it. Who cares? And then I had to watch it again my last year in college, and again, I was like, this movie sucks. You're telling me this is the best movie ever made? Back in the 40s, we haven't made any new movies. Movies better than this one. Like, no. And then I watched it two years ago and I was like, this movie is brilliant. It is timeless. It will be the best movie forever. Wow. It's so good. Now I totally get it, but I didn't understand it at all. But I was revisiting. I don't think yeah. I. Uh, People worship it. I've ever seen it. I've it's, never it seen it. It is a brilliant movie. And the story is super interesting. Which is what? Yeah. It's basically about a tycoon and how he goes about becoming a tycoon, how he gets his money. And how his money leaves him an isolated, bitter old man, and everybody yeah. leaves him. But people believe it's groundbreaking because, like she said, it's 1941. Uh-huh. And so Orson Welles just applies all these like camera techniques and lighting techniques. Mm-hmm. It's just really, it's just a really interesting story. And there's so much in it because it's a newspaper that he runs about the media and stuff like that that I feel like are still relevant today of what he was doing back then with a newspaper. Hmm. Yeah. Newspaper. The newspaper. Oh. 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 I'm a newsie. Yeah. So like class- kind of like based yeah. on the Hearst. Okay. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, when I raised my hand, I said, 
the Goonies. <laughs> How'd that go over in film school? Yeah, uh, not so well. Eight seven seven forty four Woody. Eight seven seven forty four Woody. Let's go to uh, Ashley. Hey, good morning, Ashley. Ashley. Hey, good hey. morning. All right, so uh, what's yours? Something or someone you used to hate, but now you like it? God, I used to just hate being an adult. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Like life is so hard in your twenties and you work too many jobs and you have debt and you're in school and life is too hard, but I'm almost 40 now and I, I'm, my career is stable. All yeah. the money's coming in. Like we're good now. Yeah. You know, it's funny. Yeah. Uh, I don't mind it so much. You know, it's funny uh, that changes as you get older too. Um, you know, I think back uh, as great as things are now, it's like I have this job that is as stable as it could possibly be. Um, you know, you know, I'm, in not, this business. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not scraping, you know, nickels together to cover bills and stuff like that. But I think back to like the early days before I had the car and I was, you know, uh, walking and training and busing and walking again, just to get to the radio station, sleeping there overnight. Like that was, I, I look to back work at that for free. Yeah. yeah. To work for free. I look back at that time as more exciting than the, what I'm living right now. Yeah. And it's because everything was new. Everything mm-hmm. was exciting. And it was, I was finally doing like what I thought I really wanted to do with my, what I ended up doing it for the rest of my so whole life. Oh, exciting. Yeah. You know, yeah. I was like getting in the radio and like I was, everything was new and fun. Right. You know, and but in the time, it's not like it's not hard. Right. But like looking, man, was that exciting. Right. You know, um, I think it goes in waves. And if I went back and told my younger self that, I would, you know, I would tell my older self, you're nuts. Like, right. Because what's your life like now? <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> like, what? But, uh, yeah, it's all, it's all part of that um, that process, the come up. Yeah. If I had yeah. a spare one hour, I would rush to work just to hang out. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just to I was ha- so think about excited that. just yeah. to be there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Ashley, thank you for the call. I appreciate you listening to The Woody Show. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye, Bye. Uh, Mindy. Hey, good morning, hey, Mindy. Mindy. Good morning. Good morning. All right. All right. So what's something that you love now, but before not so much? Um, now I absolutely enjoy reading, but I remember being a kid um, and I couldn't stand it in school. It was my least favorite subject. It was awful to open up a book and be forced to read whatever yeah. you know you had to read back then. But right. now I get to pick what I want to read and it's so much more relaxing and enjoyable. I have a whole list. It's like a whole page long of books that I need to read that I haven't read yet. Yeah. Um, I've read the entire uh, Harry Potter yeah, series yeah. now. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah you you know, know it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that and also the whole series, um, including the brand new book before the movie comes out of Hunger Games. I've read all of those. Oh, oh nice, yeah. nice. Nice. Hell yeah, Mindy. <laughs> You go, awesome. girl. <laughs> no, but I mean, that makes Thank sense. You. Reading in school could be a chore for people that didn't like oh, it. Oh, yeah. But now anytime yeah, so you much. choose to do something, yeah. you're going to love it. I yeah. love reading. Bravey, is reading back? I hear more Reading more... is very in so right in. now. Is... More and more people is. reading. Yeah. 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 Mindy, thank you for the call. Appreciate listening to the Woody Bye. Show. Bye. 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 So my, uh, my son got an assignment from his school. For over the summer about a you know book right. or whatever so yeah. now i even saw the instructions because i called him out as saying you're lying they're allowed to use the audiobook oh, oh sweet yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice like, rip Lucky. i would have done oh that God, all day every day yeah right that'd be amazing and he's like saying the same thing i always like he he is interested in the story and he doesn't mind reading but he said he gets bored super quick that's of, what like, was actually say. like just like ugh, do people yeah. even have the attention span anymore right. to read? Yes, they do. Well, you do. Maybe not students. Yeah. You do. But once you read for pleasure, you do. Yeah, for pleasure. Yeah, like Harlequin <laughs> yeah. romance novels. Not those. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> pleasure. <laughs>